Hey YouTube, thank you for joining us today. We got this awesome new travel trailer to us. Uh, it is the Sunset Trailers. This one is a Sunlight Classic. So uh, we'll be going through all the features of it. It's a cool little bunkhouse. It's got a, like this little conversion thing on the inside. Um, lightweight, easy to use. Stick, up, stick with us and we'll go through it. Welcome back. Um, yeah, so the thing that I like most about Sunset Trailers is they're pretty customizable. You can kind of add and subtract features as you need it. So uh, down to colors, interior trim, extra awnings, etc. Uh, you name it, you can uh, pretty much customize it, which is pretty cool. So I'll start on the front. Um, you got your uh, pretty standard build uh, as far as the corrugated side goes, uh, but it is a little glossier and it has a little nicer sheen. Um, so I do like that. Uh, these tank covers are pretty cool. They're they're a little unique. If you look down through like uh, your typical tank covers, um, they're not designed like this. This has a little fuller design. So I do like that. And it does come with two tanks. It does come with two tanks, yeah. I forgot to introduce Mr. Jeff behind the oh, camera hello. today. Yep. Uh, so he'll be adding commentary and helping me out because I normally forget a lot of stuff when I'm going through this. So you can get power tongue jacks. This one does have a power tongue jack. Um, over here, gross weight on this thing is 3,500 pounds. So that's pretty awesome. Dry weight, I think it's around 2,000 or so. 24. 24, okay. So um, yeah, most uh, trucks or small trucks and SUVs can tow this with no problem. Um, so you got tons of cargo storage. This is, uh, yeah, you're the driver's side. So that's where all your utilities are hooked up. Want to dip around, oh, the battery disconnect which is awesome yeah battery disconnects are nice and you don't often see them on the smaller travel trailers like this uh and i don't know why uh because the, the clipper over here they don't have them so something I, is always draining a battery if you shut that off and you don't come back out to dead batteries yes exactly that'll like extend the life of your battery like a hundred fold um so on this particular one it's the 16 bh um they got, got the bunks I just wanted to throw out the model number there. Uh, but this, excuse it, it's a little dirty. It did just come from the factory, so we kind of spruced it up the best we could. Uh, but yeah, it has this huge uh, pass-through storage, which is really wonderful. Easy access to your water pump uh, for like winterization and stuff like that. You also got your fresh water tank right there too. Um, so your low point drains and things will be under there. Uh, just really easy to access and easy to use. Uh, this one's pretty cool. It comes with dual awnings and a rear entry i uh, kind of like the rear entry it's pretty unique um you don't see that very often uh but there are there are a number of manufacturers who are kind of doing that you got outdoor speakers which is really cool uh you got aluminum tires which are a little snazzier than most you got your outdoor uh gfi receptacle which is cool and then you got your stabilizers as well uh, if you follow me through the back uh, so it also has the party strips on both awnings too, which is really cool. And then it has a pre-mount for a backup camera, uh, which I like. This is big boy stuff with two awnings. Right? Yeah, Absolutely. no, that's pretty awesome. And you can't beat the price points on these things. That's what's killer, is like getting this in like a competitor uh, brand is probably going to be like five grand more. You know? No, they're nice. Like more or less, yeah. Uh, so you got the LED. You know, brake lights and all that good stuff. Uh, I think you can get this one with the sports package as well, which gives you off-road tires, or beefier suspension, that kind of stuff. Like the guy next to us. Yeah. So that one has the sports package. Right. On. And it has the manual awning too. So you can downgrade your awnings too. If you want just, you know, you don't want to spend the a little extra for the powered awnings. Me personally, I can be lazy. I want the power awnings. But most guys or some guys don't want that or ladies or ladies uh so if you come on in um you got a nice 12 volt refrigerator right here through the door uh so that would be your right my left on your left uh Full there's fridge. nice yeah uh in here whenever you come in you could uh take a peek but there is a bathroom in there uh here's your power controls for your lights and all that good stuff your water heater, uh, you just have the option on this one for the gas, but I do believe you can up, upgrade that to the DSI where you have uh, electric capabilities. 
uh, your water pump, and then of course all of your uh, sensors and all of that. Which makes having two propane tanks even better. <laughs> exactly. Right. Especially you'll need it for the hot water. Yeah. 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 Uh, this ever chill works great. It's only been running five minutes and I can really feel it. So, uh, pretty standard dinette, but it does fold into a bed for extra sleeping, so you can fit a little one here. Uh, if you're a full grown adult, uh, it might be a little tricky. Better than sleeping on the ground. Uh, you got a great little kitchen. I like that they put in the full three burner stove. They didn't just do like a two burner. And an oven. And an oven, yeah. Amazing. Absolutely. Uh, you got a cool little farm style sink here. It's a giant. Right? Nice. Yep. Um, you got, here's your radio control for your indoor outdoor speakers. Uh, just, you know, extra storage up here. You got a microwave. Uh, this bunk is super cool. So, you notice you got uh, the, the plush mattress here. Oh, fold it up. Fold yep. It. And then this fold up more storage. So if you don't need the bunk part of it, it doesn't have to be a bunk. You can take the mattresses out of there and you can use it for storage. Or you just, you know, oops. Go hangers, whatever right. you want. Absolutely. So, uh, and then this is pretty cool. Uh, access to that pasture storage. Actually, I'm not sure if I can get through it from up here. We'll try. No, it looks like it's sealed. But either way, I mean, I really don't go in under there for storage anyway. Normally it's small stuff. We also have a wardrobe over here as well. So, outlets up by the bed. Yeah, uh, and for the weight, it's awesome. Yeah, and the weight too. I mean, this is a whole heck of a lot of trailer for the weight. Really? I mean, it's a lot of space. Normally, anything under 3,000 pounds, you really feel packed. I'm and you really don't get a whole heck of a lot of trouble. I'm going to view it from this end down towards that end a little. Go for it. Like that. Yeah. And the fridges usually are really very deep these days. Yeah. Yeah, especially with the 12 volt. I'm very thankful that they went to the 12 volt. Some people complain about it, but you just get an extra battery for another 150 bucks, and I guarantee you, when you switch over to 12 volt, you'll be happy. Yeah, traveling down the road, it's running off the truck basically, and yeah. everything's cold while you're driving. Yeah, and it cools in a fraction of the time. You're not sitting there waiting, you know. And the cost of these things are about half the price of an LP too. Um, so if it ever does go bad, you need to replace it or whatever. And I like that it's near the door. You could actually replace it. Yeah, absolutely. You could actually get it out. You don't have out. to cut a hole through the camper. Yeah. Nice. Yep. So, cool. Well, thanks so much for joining us. Uh, my name is Nate. You got Mr. Jeff behind the camera. We are Paradise RV. Check out all of our inventory at rvparadise.com. Tweet, text, email, whatever, uh, whatever you want. Uh, thanks again, and we'll see you out there.